Every RV on the planet has a dinette booth and a galley. But none of them have one like this. And we're going to show you why. So I'm sitting here at the dinette booth and uh, we've got a walnut burl tabletop on top here. Nice little flip up AC outlet with two USB uh, ports built in. Oop. We got cup holders over here. We also have these flip up wings for a little bit more space when you're lounging. But also if you're working, it's a great place to put a magnetic iPad mount. Uh, this is actually a piece of steel wrapped in leather. The iPad mounts here pretty securely. You can see I can even flip this to and fro. So when we decided to build the flip up wings on the table, uh, we were really concerned that we had created a weak point in an otherwise strong and sturdy tabletop. So the way that we decided to solve that was we came up with a little mechanism here. We've got a, a tab underneath that you can grab and you can extend the shaft out. And so when the table is down, that shaft goes into this hole here and supports this wing. Coming up with little details like that makes something like this into an actual good idea. Over here we have the galley. We've got a side-by-side -side fridge and freezer unit here. And the reason we did that was because we didn't want a floor to ceiling unit. We wanted to be able to keep this side of the bus open all the way down to the rear wall. Down in this lower section, we've got a undermount stainless steel sink and we've got an induction cooktop. We've got a hood vent mounted under here that vents up out of the roof to keep it, you know, when you're making bacon. Uh, we got Meganite solid surface countertops in here and then above our rift sawn walnut uh, cabinetry. We played a little bit with grain direction here in the center cabinet here has vertical grain, whereas we have horizontal grain on the two side cabinets. We actually repeated that on the driver's side with the microwave cabinet. So nice upswing hinges throughout that hold all the doors up at a nice level, easy to use. And then these yacht style push latches to hold the doors uh, locked when in transit. Oh, behind me, we have a pull out pantry. And if you watched the last video, then you know that that pantry doubles as a floor to ceiling mirror on the other side. Okay, so here we are at the uh, cockpit of the bus and there's a couple of cool things here that are, that are worth sharing. Um, namely, this is not the stock uh, steering wheel, but this is actually the steering wheel out of a 99 Freightliner, which most of the running gear on this bus came from the 99 Freightliner. That steering wheel though we found is an aftermarket vintage inspired part. We did have a little custom touch added to it when we pulled the horn out and had the flexible logo painted on there. Uh, the gauges on the dash all come out of the Freightliner. We've got a 5-speed Allison transmission push button uh, control up here. We've got our leveling for the, the uh, coach leveling system on the side. We also have a silver leaf monitoring system mount housed here. Uh, some various rocker switches for different controls, lighting, and so forth. Above in the overhead, we've got a nice custom made cabinet with uh, some vintage inspired uh, speaker covers to uh, hide the modern speakers that live behind. 
In the center, we've got a screen that's connected to a 360 degree uh, synthetic view camera system. In the front dash here, it's all more or less stock. This is this was a custom made panel that we mo that was modified in the build. And then here, this is the uh, fire extinguisher door, glass in there and everything we've replaced, but that is set up as, as it would have been stock. However, we added a cool little mag light and a first aid kit and a nice little modern fire extinguisher and a light in there. Got Recaro, Air Ride, captain seat here, custom upholstery done by Gerald Ablin with the flexible logo embroidered. And we can't forget this. Are we ready? <laughs> no one's ever ready for that. <laughs>